Tara or Tara, not sure which one it is the way to pronounce it, but whatever. A potato, potato, <laughs> potato, tomato, potato. I'm sorry. Fourteenth, twenty sixteenth, twenty sixteenth. That is not. That is not a date. Nope, it's not. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my most anticipated June releases. I have a total of six books, but one I'm kind of confused about if it's released in June or July, so I'll talk about that when, you know, I get to that book. Without further ado, let us get started! I tried to pick some, like, not as common books as I do in all of my most anticipated videos. Because, you know, talking about the same books as all the other people just gets repetitive, so hopefully you can find some books that you haven't actually heard of in this video. So the first book that I'm very excited about is called The Leaving. It's by Tara Alterbrando, and it's supposed to be released June 7th, 2016. Eleven years ago, six kindergarten students went missing, and now, several years later, five of them return. And Scarlett and Lucas are two of these children, and they are now 16 years old, and they don't remember anything about what happened for the past couple of years, except they do remember each other. The sixth victim, Max, did not return, and his sister Avery wants answers. And she's not exactly believing Lucas and Scarlett about not remembering everything. And that's all I really know about it, but it's apparently a thriller. And your girl love herself some thrillers. Basically every book on this list is a thriller because I can't get enough thrillers, I just love them so much. I just think that the concept of this book is super cool, and I love abduction stories. I know I'm weird and I find these things interesting. But I'm really excited about it, except I've heard that it's not, like, an amazing book, and, like, the ending is kind of, like, anticlimactic, but I'm still excited for this, and I'm gonna read it, and hopefully I'm gonna love it. But I'm gonna read it, like, way down the line, because, as you all know, your girl is cheap, uh -huh. and she only goes to thrift stores. The second book that I'm very, 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 very excited about, I'm actually so excited about this book, is called With Malice by Elaine Cook, and it's supposed to come out on June 7th as well. This book follows 18-year-old Jill, and she wakes up in a hospital room, and she is not able to remember anything from the past six weeks. She finds out that she was in an accident that took her best friend's life, but she can't remember the last six weeks, so she doesn't know what happened, and then she discovers that the accident might not have actually been an accident. And I just... <sighs> it sounds so cool and I just need it and I need it in my hands so I can read it and be like, what the heck happened? Like, what? Six weeks? Has she been in the coma for six weeks? Or is it like she just doesn't remember six weeks? Or like, what is going on? I need to know. And I want to know if she, like, murdered her or something. I just need to... I need it in my life. I need it in my life. The third book that I'm very excited about also comes out on June 7th and it is called Julia Vanishes and it is by Catherine Egan. Or Egan? I don't know how to pronounce authors' names, I'm sorry. But this follows Julia, who has the ability to go unseen. And this isn't, like, invisible, but she has the ability to, like, go beyond people's normal senses. So she's there, but they don't sense her. And she's a spy and a thief. She gets hired for this job of crime, and she starts suspecting that the trail of bodies being left around the city are actually from the people who hired her. Basically her story of trying to like get out of the job, but she's so involved in the crime that she can't get out or something like that. That's what I'm getting from the synopsis, but it sounds so cool and like, I'm just saying how cool would it be to be invisible to other people? But like you could just be chilling there like, yo, I'm totally listening to your conversation and you have no idea. <laughs> Talk shit, get hit, bitch. <laughs> I should edit that out because that's bad language. Sorry, children. I'm sorry. Plug your ears, earmuffs. Don't listen to my potty mouth. The fourth book that I'm very excited about is called How to Disappear and it's by Anne Reddish Stampler. And it's supposed to come out June 14th, 2016. And I don't really know that much about it, but the blurb sounded so cool. It basically just said that it's about a girl named Nicolette who witnessed a murder or she may have committed the murder and the boy who's trying to kill her. And I'm sorry, but that just sounds so freaking sick. I need it in my life. I want to know, like, did she witness it or did she actually commit the murder? And like, who is this boy? Who is this boy trying to kill her? And why is he trying to kill her? Like, is it because of the murder? I don't know because I don't have the book, but I want it. Fifth book that I am anticipating for this June is called The Darkest Lie by Pin Tip Dunn, and it's supposed to come out June 28th, 2016. 
It follows a girl named Cecilia Brooks, and she and her mom shared everything. Which your girl can relate because I love my mama. My mama and me are BFFs forever. She shares everything with her mom, and then her mom ends up killing herself after the accusation that she slept with one of her students. So Cecilia's senior year is just starting and she decides that she is going to work at the crisis hotline that her mother used to work at. So when she's counseling these troubled teenagers or people, she discovers that the truth behind her mom's suicide may not be exactly what she thought it was. With the help of a new student named Sam, Cece starts to put together clues about a terrible twisted secret involving her mom. She soon realizes that finding out the truth is not only about restoring her mom's reputation, but also about saving lives, including her own. And I'm sorry, does that not just sound so cruel? I need to know what the secret is, and I need to know why Cece's life is in danger, because like, bruh, you're just like calling on a hotline, why are you in danger? I need to know. I need to know. The sixth book that I'm anticipating for this June is the one that I'm confused about. Because on Goodreads, it says that's coming out on June 28th, but then if you go and look at the July new releases, it's also on that list but under like a different cover, but it's still like the same title. So I'm not sure if it's like a different book or what, but I'm just gonna say it comes out in June. I don't know. The book is called And I Darken by Kirsten White. I've heard so much about this book from Becca over at Becca's Awesome Book Nut. So I'll leave her review of it down below. She like loved this book, so she got me like super excited about it. The tagline is just, no one expects a princess to be brutal. Like, um, yes please, a kick-ass princess? I'm feeling that. This book follows Lada, who is the daughter of Vlad the Impaler. And if you guys know anything about Vlad the Impaler, he is terrifying. So just keep that in mind. And she is everything that Vlad would want in a son. So she's brutal, apparently. When Lada's brother Radu is born, he is the complete opposite from Lada, and he's like gentle and sweet. Her parents end up abandoning them in this Ottoman court. Lada is obviously furious and she wants her revenge, and Radu just wants somewhere where he feels like he belongs. That's when Radu befriends Muhammad. I want to say that that's what the character's name is, but I'm probably saying that wrong. But he befriends this boy who is the son of the senator of the Ottoman court, and he finally thinks that he has found a true friend, and Lada thinks that she may have found the boy of her desires. Muhammad is eventually expected to rule the nation in which Lada hates, so things get a little bit complicated, and that's all I really know about it. I just want to read it because Lada sounds totally kick-ass, and I love kick-ass female characters. And I've just heard so much from Becca, and she loved it, so I'm highly anticipating it, although I don't know if it's out in June or July. So, we'll see when it comes out, because I don't know. Alright guys, so that was my most anticipated June releases. I hope you guys find them kind of interesting, because I definitely do, and I'm very excited about them. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Expected. That's the word I'm looking for. And it is by an author that I didn't look at because I'm stupid.